Hey everybody, this is Julian from Arthur Bach Apparel, where I'll show you how to make custom apparel, custom apparel using your heat press. Uh, before we get into it, make sure you hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram if you're not already at off the block underscore apparel. Again, that's off the block underscore apparel. Everything is spelled the correct way. So for this video here, we are, I'm going to be doing a hoodie, a kid's hoodie. Um, I'm going to be using um, regular vinyl as well as puff vinyl. Uh, so I'm merging two different vinyls for one for one shirt to make it custom. Uh, puff vinyl. One thing about puff vinyl and easy vinyl is it's the exact same settings for cutting. Uh, it's it's really easy to weed. Um, it presses at the same temperature, which is 305 for 15 seconds. Um, so it's it's really the same thing. It's just gonna give it that raised look up off the shirt. Um, so. Stay, so here we go. We're just going to get right into this video so that you guys can see um, how how I do it and how how, how it's going to go down. All right, so check it out. So all right, so I got a two 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 part of this because it's a two, two color, multicolor design um, I'm doing. So this is the white. This is going to be the outside of the, um, of the, uh, uh, of the um, design for the shirt. And then this is the puff. So as y'all can see, it just is red puff. Um, it, it it looks exactly the same. It's you know a little bit thicker on the, on the back uh, versus the other vinyl. Um, so that's the design that I went for. Um, so yeah, uh, I've used puff before. Um, I don't think I I did a video on using puff, but I use puff many times. It's a lot of different colors um, to get in puff. Um, it, it it just it just I like how I don't think it's it's you I don't think you should use it for a lot of, a lot of designs I think for bold designs you you should you can use puff for like little small designs or little wording it may not show up as good because like I say it's going to leave that raised look off your shirt or garment so I would like I would use it whenever it's like a bold font something like that like something like this that's a bold font or bold maybe a heart or something like that we got valentine's day coming up so it could be you could use it if you're using hearts on a shirt and you want the raised look you can actually you know you use the puff vinyl for for the hearts or what have you you know that's me just saying that that's like an idea that i may do um on this video as well i may do something else and 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 put hearts on a shirt or something like that. Try to make my kids a, a Valentine's Day shirt and have a, the raised heart look off of the shirt with the um with the with the puff vinyl. So let me move my camera down so you guys can see the heat press. Alright, so we're gonna line this up here. We're just gonna line this up. Three fingers from the collar. Uh three fingers from the from the sides. That's how I measure. I, I never use a, a rule or nothing like that. I don't feel like I need it. I've been doing this for a while now and I just got used to it. This is what works for me. However, do what works for you. Don't, you know, if you need a ruler, that's fine. You know, it, it's it's fine. I, this is just how I, I got a good eye for, for making sure things are straight and stuff like that. So do what works for you. Then we're gonna press that for 15 seconds. While that's pressing, man, don't forget to uh, leave comments um, below. Also, you can uh, leave uh, go leave a DM, uh, hit my DM if you have questions or anything like that. I do respond to those questions or comments or what have you, whatever it is. All right, so that that part is done. So that that went on there, nice and smooth, nice, it's clean. You know, now I'm gonna put the puff on. We're gonna line the puff up in here. Okay, well, that looks good right about right there. And I'm and I'm measuring this again. I'm now I'm measuring it with four fingers uh, from the edge of that design. So I'm measuring this with four fingers. And we're gonna go ahead and press that down. Pressure, pressure, um, just firm pressure. It doesn't have to be real tight or anything like that. Just firm pressure. And that when I peel this up 
uh, guys, in five seconds, you're going to see the raised look. Hopefully, I could get this in here so you guys can really see, see what I mean. Just want to get y'all to really see the raised look. So you probably you may can see it right now. Um, I'm not really sure. I am gonna put I am gonna put this on my page so you guys will be able to see it as well with the raised look. Let me fix the camera so you guys can see the actual shirt. So as you can see, it says my only competition is me. Um, right here for the M, I'm really not too happy with it too much, but like I, but it's fine, you know. It's for my son. Um, like like I said, you know. With the bigger, with the bigger, with the, I should have spaced this out a little bit more, or 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 something like that. I I really I I'll I'll do it again eventually. But as you can see, like that raised look off of the hoodie, you see what I mean? It's like raised, and it's really soft. Uh, went on real easy. Hot peeled off. So this is just a a kid's hoodie for my son right now. Uh, just you know testing out some things. Actually looks pretty good. Actually, I know how I look at it. it. Looks pretty probably good. I see what it looks like when we take pictures with it on. 